Hey everybody, long time no see, it's work from home Friday. A little while ago I saw a video on my favorite food channel and that's Food Wishes with Chef John. Foodwishes.com Hello, this is Chef John from Foodwishes.com Anyway, he made my favorite candy treat Chocolate truffles. I always thought these were kind of an unattainable thing because they're hard to find really good ones and when I do they're really expensive but his recipe was fairly simple and so I'm gonna try to make them with this. There's not all the ingredients are here but but this. So I just went back and watched Chef John's video again just to make sure I was up on everything. I'm doing my recipe different than his because he did kind of a ginger spice Truffle, so I'm gonna do peanut butter and chocolate because who doesn't love peanut butter and chocolate? And I found these Heath Bar crumbles at the grocery store, so I might try that because I love me a good English toffee. However, basically it's 60% of heavy cream to however much chocolate you put in your ganache. So what Chef John did was he weighed out his chocolate and then he added the ingredients for his flavor. Granted, his ingredients didn't weigh very much, I'm not sure how this should work. So do I weigh those with the, I don't, I don't. Ah! But don't worry, it'll be good no matter what, right? Okay, so the way food scales always work is that there is a zero button so that you can put your bowl on there and then zero it so it doesn't count the measurement of the bowl. So that's 7.5 ounces for that one. Zero it. And this is why I don't have a cooking channel. Now we have two 7.5 batches for the ganache. And then whatever's left is coating chocolate. That might be too much coating chocolate, but I don't know. We get out our trusty dusty calculator. 7.5 times 0.6. 4.5. So for each of these batches, I need 4.5 ounces of heavy cream. I guess. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm gonna add uh, a little more, that much chocolate. So once I have my heavy cream at a low simmer, I pour it into my chocolate, and I'm supposed to whisk it, but it's all in my whisk, and it's supposed to gradually turn from a nasty mess into a smooth, beautiful, glossy ganache. Ooh, whoa, look at that. It turned into a smooth, shiny, glossy. Isn't this beautifully smooth? Mm. Now, really, that is pretty smooth and it sure smells good. Now, we're supposed to use a spatula to get the chocolate off of the edges and then cover it and let it cool until we can form it into balls. And I don't know how long that takes. So, we're gonna find out. I basically repeat the process for the second batch. Three hours later. So I've let these sit. They're still really soft. I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't have a melon baller or a cookie dough scooper. i put that on the Christmas list for next year. Let's see if we can, no, that's, this is not gonna ball. I think I'm gonna have to put it in the refrigerator because it's just, No. Don't lick the spoon. You might be sharing these. Two hours later. Well, I waited for a very long time for the ganache to get hard enough to make balls, but ultimately I had to put it in the refrigerator. Now I'm a little worried that after putting them in the fridge, it's gonna be too hard. The Heath Bar one is soft. The peanut butter one is a little tough, but we'll see. Now, like I said before, I don't have a melon baller or a cookie dough scooper or anything like that. So I'm just using a spoon. Oh, it is still really sticky. Well, I kind of
kind of got a ball-ish shape, but it's a lot on my fingers. Uh, I cannot, it's like trying to roll pudding into a ball. It's just not gonna work. I'm gonna put these back in the refrigerator. We'll try this again later. It might be tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. I guess that Chef John's kitchen must be like 40 degrees. And since my kitchen was freezing, I just left mine out. Because I let these sit out forever and they never firmed up enough that I could make balls. So I put them in the refrigerator and eventually went to bed. And so they've been in the refrigerator all day. So they were a little too hard. So they've actually been sitting out for an hour. We're gonna try it again. And Santa made a late delivery and brought me a cookie dough baller. We're gonna try it again. And I'm gonna go into my hand and form it up just a little bit. I think the warmth of your hand kind of helps with this when they're cold, when they're hot, not so much. There we go. Now we're looking like what we're supposed to look like. I can tell this is the uh, ganache in the bowl is starting to warm up because they're getting stickier as I roll them. Oh, there's, there's this, I don't know. This isn't really working. Just power through, man. Just get her done. Don't lick your fingers. It's just, it's turning into the consistency of cake frosting. It's basically cake frosting at this point and you can't make a ball out of cake frosting. But I shall soldier on. <sighs> Now, he said he put these in the refrigerator while he melted the coating chocolate. I might even put these in the freezer because they're just, these are just. Okay, full disclosure, it's been about four days. These have been in the fridge the whole time. That was not part of the recipe. So now I make my coating chocolate in a double boiler, which is a fancy way of saying a bowl over a pot of boiling water. It takes a little bit for the melting to get started, but once it does, just use a spatula and keep stirring until it's smooth. Now, we put it on a fork and drizzle. This doesn't work. That's why I got the spoon and drizzle. Come on, drizzle. All right, we'll do it this way. Uh, that's a lot of chocolate, <laughs> um, but okay. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of this, maybe. Last one of these, and then I'm gonna supplement my chocolate with some peanut butter chips. Because more peanut butter flavor can't be a bad thing. Hey, no touching! No touching! No touching! No touching! Okay! Back in the fridge, hopefully not for another four days, and then we taste! One eternity later. Well... They're truffles. Oh, it came off beautifully. All right, peanut butter and chocolate. It's still soft in the middle, it's a trouble! <laughs> oh, it's really good too. Mmm. They're not the most beautiful truffles ever. Oh. I made truffles! Woohoo!